Rising from the ashes, a church is rebuilt. Good evening, I'm Autumn Wells. Two years ago, the Glad Tidings Church in East Spokane was set on fire. Its gym was destroyed. Today it reopened and was dedicated to a fallen Marine on Veterans Day. KXLY4's John Langler is live in East Spokane where two tragedies have become one positive. Well, Autumn, behind me is the Oaks Classical Christian Academy. It's located right next door to the Glad Tidings Church. It was victimized by fire in June of 2005. The arson, in fact, has forced all the classes to be held in the valley. Right next door, though, is the gymnasium, and today it is new once again and renamed in honor of a fallen Marine who lost his life in Iraq. Fire blackened its gym, its school, but not its soul. Most of this gymnasium was charred. The ceiling was totally black. Today we make this an act of rededication. War claimed their nephew, the boy they raised into a man, the Marine who lost his life in Iraq. With all the friends and, and family and, and the, of course people here at the church and all, we're going to live through it. Today, Daryl Morris's name is forever linked to this brand new gym. Incredible honor for them to dedicate the gym to him. We're pretty thrilled. Morris spent much of his childhood at the Glad Tidings Church. He was one of the most popular members of a youth group. Daryl is probably the crazy kid here out of all the kids here, but everyone loved him. We had a lot of fun. Tragedy struck in January. Morris was killed in combat. Our lives are changed forever. And it'll, nothing will ever be the way it was. It's been hard. It's been really hard. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about him or miss him. So the church decided to honor Morris by putting his name on the gym, a reminder of his love of the church and his sacrifice for his country. You're just going to have to remember what he died for and the sacrifice he made and, and know that he did it for us and everybody in this country and pick your feet up and keep marching. And of course, today's dedication comes on Veterans Day. Morris comes from a proud military family, and they say this Veterans Day is going to be particularly hard for them. Reporting live, John Langler, KXLY4.